I hope you're having a great day. We've got a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now, and I just wanted to uh, preach a little bit about preparedness, and I'm not like a, a, a prepper or anything like that, but I think that you should be able to take care of yourself, uh, God forbid something were to happen. Now I can remember a few years ago we had a snowstorm that came through here, and it dumped like three and a half feet of snow, and uh, where I live in, in Connecticut, they were just, the town wasn't prepared, the state wasn't prepared, and a lot of people weren't prepared. So at the time I was actually living in an apartment, and I didn't have any way to turn the heat on. We had no power for, um, it was like a week and a half, almost two weeks that we had no power. And I actually, luckily I had my cell phone and I was able to call my dad. He came and um, he picked us all up. I actually had to walk through the snow to get to his truck at the end of the road, uh, which was about a half a mile. Our road wasn't plowed for two weeks and they finally came with a bulldozer uh, to move the snow. So it was pretty hectic, it was pretty crazy. Uh, at the time, my grandmother was alive and she was in her 90s and she lived in an apartment down the street from us and she was freezing cold because, again, she didn't have any power either. So this was a big ordeal um, and I think it's, it's, it's always something you should have a plan in, in, in action, uh, to put to action rather, in, in case of an emergency like that. Now at my parents' house, we had a generator, we had wood stove, we had you know all the necessary things. We had uh, the refrigerator running and lots of food. And so it wasn't an issue for me, but it, it definitely could have been. And it was uh, five miles to get there from uh, where I lived. Uh, so it definitely could have been a problem. So that being said, today we're testing out a product here. This is the Eaton FRX Three plus. Um, one thing to keep in mind that I wish I knew when I ordered this was that the plus has a different battery setup than the regular one, right? The FRX3 versus the FRX3 plus. You want to get the regular. You don't want to get the plus, I think, from what I read online. Um, let's take a peek at this. All right, let's pop this open. So just to start off the, off the bat here, this is an all-purpose weather radio, portable phone charger. Uh, it has both a crank generator here as well as a solar panel on the top. It's good for the AM, FM radio. It's good for weather band alerts. It's good for USB charging as well as you could charge other devices. Uh, hand crank power, solar charging, LED flashlight, glow-in-the-dark locator, and a headphone jack. That's kind of what we're looking at here. I'll put a link for the item down below. I think it's a good idea to have something like this. Uh, you obviously can charge your vehicle, uh, has an outlet, you can charge your phone using that. But this is just another way you could do this on the road if you had to be in a mobile situation. There's the solar there. Lightweight, you can throw it in your backpack, comes with um, a USB cord here, a little lanyard. The rechargeable lithium battery has been disconnected for transportation purposes. To use the crank charge system, open the battery compartment and connect the rechargeable battery's plug into the socket. Now this is what I was saying about the battery system. The other style has three batteries, uh, AAAs, that fit in here, I believe. Now this battery bank here is quite a bit bigger than the other one. Uh, the other one is 500. Uh, milliamps I believe this one is 2600 so let's connect this worst case I think you could uh, make this into a rechargeable battery pack uh, to be swapped out so you could in fact make this I think you're way better off having multiple ways to charge that is a tough fit there Okay, so that's on there. Underneath here, we have a couple different ports. Looks like headphone, auxiliary, um, cell phone charger, and the plug in to charge this itself. You get two different lights as well as a red light. And I'll have to do a test at night to see how dark it actually is. Let me look over here where it's dark. That certainly would be better than nothing. P 
appears to come uh, fully charged. Volume control as well as a uh, tuning control here. Alarm on, off, up, down, alert. Oh, actually it's not fully charged. It's saying that it's charging. So if I block that. Huh, okay. Very easy to turn. I'm assuming it has built-in protection to make it so you can't overcharge it. Let's see here. Power on. Radius push for deeper production cuts. Nice. Crude is down about 7%, falling below $43 a barrel. American Express is cutting the ribbon today. At so it sounds like it's pretty decent quality. Um, as far as the speaker goes, it gets very loud. Um, that's 1080, that's AM channel. I don't have the antenna out or anything. Uh, the AM, you don't really need to for the stations around me. Um, so yeah, all in all, it looks like a pretty good little unit here um, for the money. I'll put it to a test. And what I'll do is I'll listen to some music and see how long the battery kind of lasts on it. But initially, my thoughts are uh, very good on it. Looks like there's a, a mute button. Cell. So that's for your cell phone, so you can um, probably plug your phone right in. I'm going to hook up my phone. I have an iPhone. This is an iPhone 7 Plus. And I've got it plugged in now. Let's see. All right, so the cell is now turned on. Indicates that it is charging. Now I wonder if we can get... Now this also does the weather band. Different stations there. Okay, let's see what else we can do. So we got the cell is turned on. I wonder if it has uh, music playing capabilities. Let's test that out. Okay. Right, and so let's just get back on that. And in a sense, this is a, uh, you know, a. Hmm. I don't know if this one has that or not. I would think so. Let's check this out. So you might have to use it with an auxiliary feature to do that because it doesn't appear to. It does not appear to be. Um, working if I wanted to listen to music using that method. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, so that does in fact work. It seems to work pretty well. Um, as far as the battery life goes, 2600... Uh, I, have a, I have a battery bank, it's 26,000 and that thing works for quite a few cell phone recharges. I don't actually know what the iPhone's battery capacity is. But this says provides one and a half uh, charges for most cell phones, uh, smartphones with the lithium battery. And it says that this is a glow in the dark ring here. And like I said, the hand crank feature. Let's, let's see, probably hold it by the handle here. So yeah, worst case, that definitely would work, work very well. I'm going to drain this down and maybe I can make another video showing some details of how long it actually took to to drain that down. But from the from the initial looks of this for the price, I think it's a great product. Uh, the build quality looks pretty good. My biggest complaint is definitely going to be the battery. That's definitely not uh, not ideal. But like I said, worst case, you could hand wire it to multiple batteries. Uh, you'd want to use a rechargeable battery, ideally, so that you could use it and crank it and charge it with the solar. You wouldn't want to use a regular battery for that. All right, so as far as the recharging goes, uh, it takes about 10 hours to recharge this with the solar. Let's see what else we have here. Two hours to recharge it using the USB cable. 
four minutes to get one minute of talk time on most smartphones or 10 to 15 minutes of radio time. So that's not too bad. Crank for four minutes and you get 10 to 15 minutes of radio time. Uh, but like, like it's mentioned here, you can also just leave it out in the sun. So if you're doing the sun and the cranking, that would probably, uh, if it allows you to, it would be even better to do that. So, yeah, all in all, I'd say this thing looks pretty solid. Uh, the manual goes over different buttons and what they do as far as the functions of the clock. So you can set the clock on there as well as an alarm clock. Uh, that would definitely come in handy in that type of situation. And it has uh, the weather bands preset on here, which is which is also handy. Um, multiple languages as well. Let's see what else it has in here. Goes over. Actually looks like a pretty decent manual for, you know, sometimes you get them where they're very difficult to understand. So right off the bat, just looking at it, it looks like a pretty decent uh, build quality. My biggest complaint would be that uh, the battery back, the battery pack rather, is you can't put triple A's or double A's in there. That would be really convenient. It looks like the other model does, so you might want to do some reviews and look at that. Um, I bought this just because, you know, you never know what's going to happen, and I think it's a good thing to have. If nothing else, you can use it when you go camping, listen to the radio. Uh, even if you're out doing some yard work, you can just throw it on. You don't have to worry about um, the batteries because it can be charging while you're out in the garden or something like that. Uh, you can also, you know, you could hang it on something. It has the antenna here. Sticks out like a foot and a half. So... Yeah, all in all, it looks like pretty decent build quality for the money, like I said. I'll put a link down below. You can take a look at the reviews on Amazon. Um, but my, my, my general thought is that this is a great little unit. If nothing else, you can charge your cell phone uh, and not have to worry about that in, in an off-grid type situation. Even when I go out camping or when I go to my, my, my buddy's cabin, we go out you know, riding on the trail system, it'd be handy to have. And it's, it's nice to listen to music while you're out out and about as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video.